Every time I team up on the twos with my boy Nut, you already know what to expect. No screens, just greens. Double ISO. Play glass, facilitating finisher. There's only one way to do it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video, man. Hopefully, all your moms had a great Mother's Day yesterday. Make sure you tell them Joe No said Happy Mother's Day. It's a little, I know I'm a day late, but make sure they know I said Happy Mother's Day, all right? But look, today we got my LeBron James build, my boy Nut, his Zion Williamson build, playmaking glass cleaner. The only difference from the last time we did this a couple months ago is we're going to the stage to try to play the sweatiest of the sweaty. And as you can see, we're about to step on the dots in the first game right off the rip. Double locks, both of them are like elite, I forget, elite something, double locks, you already know what to expect when you're playing in the stage, man, they're gonna be running the cheesiest stuff, because these dudes want to win, which leads for some great gameplay, so let's get right into it, man. If you guys enjoy the double ISO gameplay, and you want to see more of it against Cup, get this video to 20,000 likes, man, 20,000 likes, and me and my boy Nut will team up for you guys again and maybe even take it to a wager or a series or maybe a tournament or something like that on the twos. If you guys really enjoy the double ISO, you guys let me know by hitting that like button. But check it out. We got the facilitating finisher, playmaking glass cleaner. As you can see, they got the two-way finisher and the rebounding wing, both with lock takeover. But what I just don't understand is why does this dude have tats on his... Right off the rip, the speed boosting lock is going to be the one isoing, obviously. But you see, we're playing pretty good defense right off the rip. He's jammed up. They try to go back door. We're there. Intimidator makes a miss. But unfortunately, they're able to grab the rebound. And now we got to do it all over again. This dude's going to drive in. Dunk on both of us. 2-0 right off the rip. Remember, it's double lock. So even if we get the ball, no matter who isos, we're both going against a lock now. It's pretty good D. He gets it to go. Again on the iso. Little crossover. Drives in. I'm there. But that freaking badge, man. I don't know why they put in nothing easy like that. That is the worst badge in the game. I feel like I would have got a chase down block or a really good contest, but unfortunately it didn't happen. So 4-0, they got the ball. Iso again. This dude cross, cross. We're not starting to notice though. He doesn't look confident in the jumper, but he gets the contact dunk there. So we're going to start to play back. Try to make him shoot. Try to make him do something different, right? That's bumping him in the mid range. Pretty good defense. Pretty good D, but he just gets enough space. And man, those lockdown builds are super athletic. He gets a dunk. This dude gets a layup. We're down 10-0 right off the rip. First game in the stage to these double lockdowns, man. It's tough. It is tough. I'm not going to lie. It's a really good lineup that they're running. Double crossover. Dude drives in. Nut gets the great contest. That Zion Williamson bill with the Hall of Fame defensive badge is going crazy. He gets the dunk to start it off. Now we're in business, right? 10 to two and i sell the bag by getting a turnover so they come right back the other way he gets a little hop step dunk 12 to 2 now one thing you might notice we've been playing pretty good defense like they are struggling despite the fact we're down 12 to 2 so we we have a feeling we're gonna get a stop look at i predict he's gonna drive baseline i cut that off he can't do anything they gotta reset it again the good thing about this lineup with us we run double iso but we're both big so we could play sides on any type of crosses and switches and we're both pretty good rebounders. Unfortunately, Nut didn't get the rebound there. This dude goes reverse. He gets the lane. We're down 14 to 2. First game, man. This dude speed moves crossover, but I'm there on the chase down. I don't get the block, but what a great contest. Here we go. 14 to 2. We really can't give up the ball again because at this point, you know what I mean? They're pretty close to winning the game, but look at Nut. I so cook green to start it off i gotta get going on the offensive end now they get confused on the inbounds i run straight to the hoop for the easy alley-oop now we're gonna run the same play nuts gonna hezzy pull up it's wide open and it's big greens 14 to 10 nuts cooking up he's got playmaking badge gets the ankle breaker dots corner i could have maybe shot it but the lock could have jumped i'm being patient kobe size up crossover hop step big bailout take the lay in 14 to 12 we're right back in this thing behind the back step back cross into the paint hop step powerful finish 14 14 here we go we got all the momentum look at nut going crazy man so inspirational you know look at this yakum drive in dot corner big greens man you already know the vibes man no screens big greens double iso on the twos kick out relocate dot pull up green we got 20, man. We need one more bucket. And I got badge. When I get that badge, there's really nothing you're going to do to stop me from getting a two. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to throw it to nut. Get just enough space on the backdoor cut. Easy alley-oop ball game. So nice little comeback against two elite lockdowns in gameplay number one. Right? But now gameplay number two is very different lineup. A very different lineup. More of a pick and roll type offense. You know, they were ISOing with two locks. Now we're playing against a pick and roll type offense with a play shot and a finisher. Now, you never really know what those finishers are, but a lot of the times 
I believe it's the slashing and defending pie chart, right? So an inside big, basically, and a quick little play shot. We already know what he's going to be doing on the pick and rolls, right? He's going to be going crazy. Not the ideal start we would like. We try to go for the lob on the inbounds. Can't get it. But like we said, he's going to be spamming pick and rolls, shooting quick shots, quick stops, all that stuff. He greens the first shot is 3-0. But as I said in gameplay number one, the nice thing about me and Nut playing together is both of our players are pretty big and we're both good at rebound. Look at this snag, man. Look at this snag. So by being big, we can switch everything. We can both rebound, both defend the paint pretty well, but offensively is where we shine, man. That double ISO, if you have a weak link on defense, we can expose it. Look at the play shot. I'm just patient. Let him jump. Let him jump. Go for the lefty land. There's always going to be something we could go to we could both iso against a lock as you saw last game but man if you got a weakness on defense like a play shot we are going to expose that all day long as you can see in this gameplay i mean this dude just has no chance against me in the paint but even if they switch he's got no chance against nut either so it's like just pick your poison but look at us out here getting glitchy moonwalk behind the back completely destroyed this dude go for the easy dunk i'm starting to work on my stizo stuff man y'all better watch out when i get that stuff down we're about to be looking real glitchy but hey nuts got a little something too look at a little behind the back spin back to the three-point line snatch cross like we're both out here just cooking cooking in the stage so normally you know they're gonna start to play back and and try to you know just make us shoot but i mean check it out a little snatch step back pull up yik yak i mean we're out here cooking bro and this is only the second game of the day like we literally walked in here hopped on played two locks took them out now we're playing a play shot and a finisher going crazy against these dudes i mean look at the speed easy dunk 19 to 3 off the inbounds ball fake nuts wide open dot pull up wide open you already know the color, man. Easy greens, 22 to 3 in game number two. Now, game number three, another very different type of lineup. I don't know what these dudes were thinking, though. Look at this stretch and a glass lock. So we're running against a stretch four and a glass cleaner. These dudes think it's 2K19 or something. I'm telling you right now, there is no way this lineup is going to work with the 2K20 gameplay mechanics. First of all, as you can see, defensively, they are way too slow to guard double ISO. But even if they get the ball, what in the world do they plan on doing? I mean, you can still dex in 2K20, but it is not like 2K19. We all know that. And they made stretches way slower this year than last year. So they really have no, I, I don't know what the thought process was. I think they thought they signed on to 2K19. It do, Granted, it does look the same. We all know it looks the same, but they must have thought they were on 2K19 or something. Because as you can see, they really just had no chance, man. But I wanted to mention to y'all. Shout out to everyone that's been supporting the videos and, and just supporting the channel and everything, man. Y'all have been going crazy. Last month, we had our all-time high in views. We had almost eight and a half million, eight and a half million views last month, man. You guys have been showing a crazy amount of support, so I just had to throw it in here. I thank you guys on Twitter and Instagram all the time, but sometimes in my videos, you know, I just be, in, I just be into the gameplay, just, you know, just, just vibing with y'all in the videos, but... I gotta say thank you from the bottom of my heart, man. You guys have been going crazy. But check it out. We got another game here for y'all. Throw it over to Nut. Wide open. It's big greens. As we say, no screens, just greens. Double ISO. Going crazy. Ankle breaker off the snatch back. Going for the easy left hand layup. 5-0. My turn again. Behind the back. Hop step. You already know the hop steps are super overpowered on any build, but especially on this build. Ball fake. Nuts wide open. Big greens. You also gotta think. We both have Hall of Fame Dimer to help each other out. It's just, the lineup is, it's a tough lineup to deal with. I'm not going to lie. Reverse jam, easy, 12-0 against these dudes. We're just streaking it up. Everything's going well in the park. Big greens from nothing to mid-range, 14-4. Ball fake, step back, rat-a-tat, drive in. Against this lineup, man, it happens in a blink of an eye. Just like that, we got 16. Blow by, drive, easy dunk, 18. Again, look at him, trying to play back now contact dunk over him he jumped out of the animation otherwise he would have been on the ground nut step back pull up green 23 to 4 ball game so that's a four game win streak we're like yo we might as well just keep running it up start you know just keep racking this vc keep this streak going i'm thinking all right bet like there ain't nothing wrong with it vc is vc you can make new builds buy whatever you want let's do it let's keep playing so the next game another another very different lineup 
but you're gonna see what happens man it, it it's just typical 2k20 the state of the game right now we'll talk about it in a second so i'm excited i'm like all right cool another pick and roll offense type team but you know this dude is a two-way sharp so he has defense in his build other dude is a big you know paint beast so he's got defense in his build most likely it's gonna be a good game you see of course we're still running the double iso lineup it's all good but as you see as soon as the game starts y'all saw the other game plays no lag no issues at all as soon as the game starts look at look at this thing. i'm like okay now you know it could just be you know maybe just like a little chop but as you can see it does not go away and this is the state of 2k20 man people are going crazy booting people offline and just so happens i'm the victim right now and i'm not saying it's the opponents in this video i, I don't think it was but people are literally stalking accounts i don't know if you guys have heard about this but there's like this whole website with it's got ips of like every known player and people are going on there and getting your ip and booting you off and well i'm the latest victim <laughs> today it's weird it's illegal I don't know if they're ever going to deal with it, but hopefully they do. But like I said, man, hopefully y'all enjoyed the double ISO. Me and my boy Nut going crazy. Zion, LeBron James teaming up at the stage. Y'all have a good one. I'm out. Peace.